One of the most popular tourist destinations in the U.S. is New Orleans for a multitude of reasons. The city is synonymous with a perpetual party fueled by jazz, beignets, beads, and voodoo. People come to New Orleans because New Orleans is one of the oldest cities in the world, and they come here for voodoo. My name is Madame Cinnamon Black. I'd like to welcome you to the Voodoo Museum, where people come here to find out about voodoo. So you think voodoo doll is real too, huh? Well, yeah. Well, we have voodoo doll for you. Not like Chucky, but we have dolls that people possess. Voodoo dolls come from England, better known as the poppet doll. And there, it's a form of sticking a pin inside the doll to make the doll do something for you. But here in the city of New Orleans, we possess the dolls. The dolls are used to form a certain kind of magic. There are so many true things said about New Orleans, but the true stories about Marie Laveau, there are so many. This portrait was, it shows a picture of Marie Laveau. She was a Creole, a devoted Catholic, and she was also a free woman of color. Some people call her saint, others call her a legend, but I call her the most powerful voodoo priestess known here in the city. The old chicken foot is used to fight off evil. They say you place this out in someone's home, own someone's car who take your parking space, or even in your business to fight away evil. Inside the museum, you'll notice there's a, ver there's a voodoo journey. That journey is where voodoo travels from Africa to the United States. This is often the same journey that's traveled by most hurricanes from Africa to the United States. This particular display that we have here represents St. Expedite. St. Expedite is a spirit that stands at the gateway of the cemetery. He's better known as Baron Sambi or Papa Legba. There's a folktale story that's often told about Papa Legba having a top hat and tobacco. He likes rum and he likes vodka, so they say he dropped his sunglasses. Because of that, you will see he has one lens in to see the living and poof, one lens out to see the dead. This is one of the main altars that you would normally see inside the homes of Louisiana, the world they'll have a Bible. They have things that belong to their ancestors and you'll normally see Catholic saints. Often when you ask the ancestors of a favor, you will go to the grave and pay them back by cleaning the grave, by wiping off the slate, by sitting down talking to Uncle Joe and maybe having a drink with him. Voodoo is in the city of New Orleans. Yes, it is. It's inside the food, the music, and the drinks. So if you come to our city and you have something to eat or drink, <laughs> the voodoo's already got you. We're here located in the heart of the French Quarters at 724 Dumain Street, New Orleans, Louisiana. My name is Madame Cinnamon Black. Thank you. <laughs> New Orleans history is never boring. You can find small niche museums like the Voodoo Museum in almost every community around the country. And they're usually an entertaining and an inexpensive way to spend a few hours learning about something you didn't know you needed to know.